All right, guys. So it's gonna be a quick video. GPG announcement. Here we go. All right. It's gonna be sad for some of y'all GPG fans out there and GPG members also. And as the GPG leader and creator, I'm pretty sad as well. But G GPG might come to an end, honestly. Um, I think that for many reasons. Number one, well, I'm pretty sure there's like five, six reasons. So, number one reason, we can't communicate anymore. We can't work as like an actual team. Like, you know, we're just starting to grow more and more as a team. And then the more and more as we grow as a team, the more and more trash talk there goes and stuff like that. Like, it just, like, like, we keep, like, we always start up an argument, like, easily, like, really tightly. And it takes forever to get over. Like, honestly, that makes people mad, makes people cry and stuff. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy, you know. And then, number two, some people don't play as much now as they used to when they first started in GPG. Like, Victor, obviously. He might get on right now, honestly, though. You might see um, KK. Um, so now, since it's the summer, he goes to, like, his mom's work and stuff. Um, and that's really just us, you know? Real gamers, he barely plays with us. Like, he says he says he's, like, a true clan team member, but he's really not. He plays with other people, like his friend YPN, um, his renegade raider duo partner. Um, and it's insane, you know, that like that um so we don't really play as a team anymore anyways you know and we barely post on our youtubes like fortnite this like it's like that stuff um number three um our proficiency means like how many times like we like how many games we can play a day and see if we can get a dub and we're, we're not we're starting to like break up as a squad so therefore like we don't get as much dubs as we used to and stuff it's crazy um, number four, uh, we're talking to other people that are not in the clan, like Big 8-Ball, like Chanti, who left, like Azai. And honestly, like, Azai told us why he left. He left because he didn't think the clan was toxic. He said it's because, like, he knows we're a good clan, but, like, he just wants to do something else and join his cousin's clan. But now that I'm looking at it, I don't really believe that. Because the fact that he keeps playing with us, even though he's not even in DPG, it's just insane and doesn't make any sense. Therefore, I don't believe him on that part, which I think makes him selfish, which is so insane and crazy. Um, number five, I'm pretty sure, is it's just we're falling apart. That's what sums it all up. Like, we don't really do anything. Like, we don't, we're not nice to each other. We don't talk to each other. We don't get dubs. We just do stupid stuff. It makes people leave the clan. And stuff. Like, honestly, bro. I'm just saying, these things that are popping out everywhere, like every single time, bro, we try to play squad. Another player comes like, Azai and Chanti aren't even part of the clan. So what's the point of, like, having to argue with them when all you really need to do is just... Play with the people that are in your clan. Like, and that's where the problem comes in because Victor and KK don't play that much often. Our other clan members don't play with us that much often. The big four. Well, really, it should be big one, and that's me. I'm the only one that calls out there and says, hey, you want to do this, do that. I'm like the really only one that actually tries to communicate, tries to get dubs and work in. But, you know, it just doesn't work out. I mean, it's not, it's not my choice. It's not my decision. And that's what they have to go through because they have to go through life honestly we all do so i mean it's not my problem it's not theirs either it's 